I told you guys, I told you guys that Queen's cousin is full of shit. Why doesn't anybody listen? Queen's cousin's full of shit. I've been saying that. For anyone who believes him, y'all screws aren't tight, okay? Just saying, just saying. Well, here we go, Martin Lewis resurrected. He uploaded a video called Queen Nyjah and Her Mother Speak Out number two. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and react to this and see what Queen and her mom has to say about it. Let's watch. As you guys know, recently we made a video about Queen Nyjah's cousin, him coming out, saying that he was going to expose her, basically doing things for some attention. Well, recently, Queen Nyjah, Reva, and Terrell have spoke out. Oh, little, Terrell too, the little brother? A bit about the situation. Okay. The thing that was being said, um, I kept silent about it because I was asked to, to not, you know, say nothing. Mom, I'll, I'll talk about it, but she talked about it a little bit, so now I'm addressing it. <laughs> This girl. It's because Queen is such a good person. Like, she still doesn't want drama. She doesn't want tension. She doesn't want to give people a, a platform to speak or give them the spotlight because they don't deserve it for obvious reasons. So, I get where Queen was coming from when she told her to shh. <laughs> but I guess she spoke. Lost or an estranged family member. And today, we're going to get through all of that and give you my final conclusion. Now, before we get into the drama, this video has been sponsored by Manscaped. Shout out to you guys. Now, they all right, we're going to go ahead and skip that because they're not sponsoring my video. Okay. You guys know, in episode one, we thought that Carlos's dad passed away. You're wrong. Again. Well, it wasn't his dad. It was his uncle. That is not. I don't know why people keep saying my dad is dead. His father is not dead. However, my uncle is very sick right now. I, I heard that he has lung cancer. So the picture that um, Martin Lewis showed was not his father. Oh, uh, that was my uncle Johnny, his brother, my, uh, his dad's brother that passed away. And it, he said he was like a dad to him. But my uncle Carl is still living. A lot of you dumb came on my page, tried to attack me, trying to make me feel like I'm dumb or something. <laughs> Are you psychic? Because I'm. <laughs> Not psychic. <laughs> Look what he said. He said my dad. I would love you with all I have. You was my dad, my best friend. He said. Right. Oh my God. He didn't say he. You were like my dad. Cause that's. Then we would have guessed it a little bit quicker. Do I look like a psychic? No. Am I gonna come and correct it like I always do in a lot of the other stuff? Yes. Anyway, after I uploaded my video, Diamond ended up doing an interview with Carlos. Is why come out with these videos now? Why do you want to get this message out now? What is the urgency to do it right now when you said it took you about four years to go through this? And that's a good question, Diamond. <laughs> yeah, Carlos. Why now? Why all of a sudden you want to come out? Well, it took me about four years, four and a half years, because the simple fact of I am family, that is my blood. I had to sit back and observe a lot and endure a lot at the same time as not wanting to expose because... Are you paying attention to the small detail of the editing? Because I sure, I sure am. The background music. Martin, you're, you are funny, man. The background music that he's using while this guy is talking. You know, it's a lot that comes with exposing. You have nothing to expose, Carlos. Like, what have you exposed? All you've been doing is stringing Just talking. everyone along Just so you can get attention. Just talking. Um, if I go ahead and expose my family, I took a loss of absolutely never have anything to do with my family. And it took me four years to the fact I just didn't want to do that. Right. So now you decided to be very condescending, uh. basically a real jerk, uh. and try to make her feel really bad and try to really screw her over with a bunch of bullshit. I didn't want to do that. But I, you know, the real is real. I'm really tired and I'm fed up and I'm, to be honest with everybody, I'm like. Hold on. I need me my beverage, okay? I'm not right. It's fake. I think the world should know. Okay. Queen's success and where she is today, I can't help but to feel Carlos is one of those people, and this is my opinion, that is just help me, get me out of this situation, and now you're there and you're not helping your family out. Well, I'm gonna do this. He is 
self-entitled. He thinks he's <laughs> entitled when he, he puts a definition. He's not. So what was the breaking point for you? What was the straw that broke the camel's back that said, no more, I cannot take this any longer? Well, when I defended her, I was in a situation where we was in the house and she had gotten an argument with Clarence and everybody do know I did stay in him, you know, video that he had put hands on her. And he, he hit her and I was fed up with it and then me and him was going to get into it and she took his side and then by her saying her, you know, his side, I kind of went off and hit him and for simple fact he put me out because of it. That's very interesting because according to Tina, we have not seen him <laughs> since he watched us when we were babies. And to Miss Reva, he has not seen Queen since Queen was 10 years old. The time that I've spoken to him or even seen him <laughs> was since I was like 10 years old. Okay. Because not only is Reva, Tima, and all the family members saying that this is not true, he has no evidence to back it up. Nothing. Okay, so he just keeps yapping and all these people believe his ass. He's come out with absolutely no evidence whatsoever. He's just talking his shit. Next case. So you have all these people with? I think everyone on YouTube, including myself, I think we're giving him too much attention, quite honestly. He's getting exactly what he wanted. But it's entertaining. I get him. She stays with this man for the simple fact. She's scared he's gonna expose her. He's scared that, you know, she's scared that he's gonna beat her. But like I said to you, she could she could expose herself to her fans and being real with him. And they would have understood. Now having a fear of a man who has that much power over you shouldn't even be in that position. You put yourself in that position and you sacrifice your love. Now to get where she's at now, she's gonna have to do the exact same thing. That that broke it for me. I I couldn't take no more. I just I couldn't watch my family be I can't help but to feel like either he's creating these lies in his head or people have been talking Or he's really talking about Chris Low key <laughs> And lying and spreading rumors in the family I guess and he believes it Like Chinese whispers or from some other family now Angie saw this interview and she ended up commenting saying I believe him 100% for the simple fact that when he said that Clarence hit her and she took his side and kicked Carlos out Because that's the same thing she did to me, her mother and Tina that night we went to her apartment And she was arguing with Chris she took Chris aside and wanted us to leave We didn't leave but still that's what she wanted Another thing is Tina always, always says that someone is crazy and lying and that they haven't spoke to them in years. She said the same thing about their grandmother. Tina wants so much approval from everyone and she wants so badly for Queen to pay attention to her that she sticks up for her no matter what, no matter how bad she treats her. And that's just fact. Some elements of that is true, but I do not remember Tina saying that her grandmother was delusional. We don't deal with our grandma. I'm just keeping it 100. Do you recall her saying that they did not have that type of relationship with their grandmother. Angie does bring a good argument up, but again, it's really her word against theirs and his words against theirs and the family. He then talks about the situation with Clarence and Miss Reva. And her mom, the way she did, and Tina, I didn't agree to that. And I said, when she did that with her mom stuff, I already sat back. I let that go because that was not my position to step in. But when a man touches a woman, that is my position, especially if that is what? my man. And that just happened for me when she put me out because of him. What? And I said, when she did that with her mom, I let that go because that was not my position to step in. But when a man touches a woman, that is my position, especially if that is my family. Like, make up your mind. You're contradicting yourself already. You're a moron. Knowing everything that you know as far as Clarence, his alleged abuse and things of that nature, a lot of fans are asking, if you really do care about Queen, do you think that you coming out and saying all this is going to make her situation worse? Her relationship with Clarence? Have you ever thought about that? I did think about that. That is part of the reason I didn't want to expose because I know all the internet can take things and kind of run with it. And it comes with a lot of stress at the end of the day. <laughs> Evil. And I didn't, I didn't know if she would have took it where uh, I'm trying to ruin his career and then you take it out on her and ruin mm -hmm. her career at the same time but I'll just put hands on her. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, you know, I did think of that and I do, I, I do care for her. I love her unconditionally mm -hmm. to this day. Down again, I would protect her. Mm -hmm. 
in my, in my blood, I would protect it. So now you're the wild. And from my understanding, he's a, a drug addict. I don't know if he's recovering or not, but that is the story right now. He is manipulating. He believes his own lies. He is constantly lying to get what he wants. It's just a characteristic of an addict. I lied and you're here to protect Queen because she's your family and you love her. But weren't you doing this before? Naja Queen, Queen Naja, whatever you want to call yourself, baby. Don't forget where you came from. You're pissing on the side of the road, for real. Don't do it. I will expose your ass. Oh my god! She threatened me! Every little detail about you. Down to your little flaw. In my, in my blood, I would protect it. That man is delusional. Delusional. You were talking down on her, wanting to expose her everything into her flaw. He's so funny. Martin's so funny. He's looking straight at the camera as if he's talking to him. <laughs> I do that too. It's delusional. They end up discussing Tina's live stream. Dude, one time you could have defended me. She could have defended me right now in her life. But again, she chose Queen. She said, I have been around for years and I'm delusional. I'm not delusional. How am I delusional when you're sitting there defending <laughs> someone who did you so dirty? You had to sit there and sell your channel to get home. To get home. Because she wouldn't give you... I wonder if Martin knows how to dance. I know this is random, but I'm curious to know that. And what nationality is he? If you watch Martin Lawrence, Martin Lawrence, why do I keep saying that? If you watch Martin Lewis, do you know what nationality he is? He looks Hispanic slash white, like maybe Italian or something. Comment below and let me know. Any money, no more, because of the simple fact of Clarence. Now that is uh, absolutely why. I, I, I love her and I wish no bad, but at the same time, that's fake. You're fake with your fans. You took their money. And you said, oh, I did this because of Queen's fans, isn't it? No, be real. Be real with yourself. Be real with your channel. You did that to get home. Bitch is a lie. Made you a slut. Basically, he throws a fallacy. The fallacy that he threw, we believe, is that quote crew, you know I can't pronounce What's that? Yeah. Instead of giving a counter argument, he's basically answering criticism with criticism, but his criticism Just like answering a question with a question. Is that what you're trying to say? Is a lie. Last time we looked into it, Tina got home in a car the last time she was out of her state. And this is the, unless he's talking about some other time. If he is, bring specific date, bring some receipt. That bitch where? Because from what we see, she went back to Michigan with her mother, Reva. Uh, me and the kids is like the back of our car look like we live in it, you know, because we got like so much clothes and we didn't want to leave the storage. <laughs> he used, <laughs> he used a fucking van girl. That's funny. Personal needs and things and stuff that we had to bring with us. And we didn't want to bring them in. Um, you know, we can't bring everything in. You know, when you, you know, you stand with somebody or whatever. There's no problem doing that, but I pretty much don't prefer to crowd their space like that. I'm just. We're all about to go swimming with the kids and stuff. And I'm just glad. I'm so, I'm just so, I'm just so happy to be home. And also, Viva said this in one of her videos. Yes, Tina and Terrell sold their channel. They didn't want to be on YouTube anymore. Tina didn't sell the channel because she needed tickets. Tina and Terrell sell the channel because of the reasons which I already showed you. So that again is a lie. But who's to say Martin also? I mean, yeah, I do believe that. At the same time, people, YouTubers put things out there that they, that they only want the viewers to know, which is not everything because there's some areas that you want to keep private, some things you want to keep private that you don't want everyone else to know, so you're going to sugarcoat some things. It just is what it is. So who's to say? Or some Chinese whispers. But Chris, you did say that you spoke with him, you had some conversations with him. Come from Queens. Who are cousins? Yeah. I don't know, I don't know. I seen them, I seen them around before. It was really weird and you guys can let me know what you heard because it's really hard because of his voice but I thought he said I don't want to get into that yeah. I don't know I don't want to get into that yeah. 
around. Seen him, I've seen him around. <laughs> so of course that caused people to speculate and a lot of people uh, assumed that Chris Sells was somehow involved. But if you look at the date, he uploaded that video on the 9th. Carlos uploaded his first video on the 4th. So of course his grandmother would have brought that up because she would have seen his videos online. But of course people would have speculate and assume, oh, he said he, yeah, I don't want to bring that. It made it sound like he has been speaking to him because of the way he worded it. But again, when you look at the dates, you would see that is not the case. And they were actually talking about the videos that he's been making online, which explains why he wouldn't want to get into it and give him any form of attention. But I know that you don't want to release too much out of respect for Chris. So anything that you want to say regarding Chris or the Chris and Queen situation at all? No, the Chris and Queen situation. No, they share a child. No, he goes, she can confine in him. She can confine him so they talk, you know, and they make him do what they do. But as a Chris, he's tired of everyone. He's tired of the internet and just twisting everything. Yes, they have love for one another. What you feel is their love asks for him back. Bitch, what? But Chris is at a platform in his life where he's gonna positive, be positive. He's not gonna go back to something where he knows it was a sacrifice, where he knows the situation was toxic, when he knows he did nothing wrong. He did nothing wrong? I'm not saying Queen's innocent either, but that's a damn lie. And people can say, oh, he cheated, he did this, he raised his hand. When in all reality, has anybody ever asked a man who actually wrote Bruh. a song for Queen? Here we go. Start talking about the song he allegedly <laughs> created. Now, Queen can sit there and say that song was for him called Medicine. She can say that was for him. Now, imagine you being a singer, looking yourself in the mirror and saying everything she's telling him. It's called that what? A reverse psychiatrist thing, kind of. Bitch, what? Now, that's her <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Because the things she's doing. She couldn't. When the industry, you have to. You have to be Girl, you brush his nigga teeth. I'm telling you. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm telling you. Interesting, Carlos. Well, Queen has came out on Instagram. Y'all, this is the studio I recorded medicine in. And she shows how Trey shared that experience with her. Memories to be here. This is where it all started, y'all. And it started with this guy right here. This is something they're you cute. Wrote. Yeah. Had other writers as part of this record. I write all my own music. See, Bam. Bam. Right, 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 right. Why can't you guys just leave her alone and give her the credit where it's due? She writes her own shit. Why doesn't anybody believe that? It, it just makes no sense to me. I write all my music. That's dope. But I'm not gonna say I'm not open to it, you know, because other people have. But I'm just letting y'all know every song y'all heard, I wrote it. Mm -hmm. So she wrote medicine in Houston. He said he's written my music. I don't know. I don't know where that came from. But again, he provides no solid evidence to back up his claims. I said bitch, where? None. Miss Reva had enough, guys. All right, let's she hear. She ended up going on YouTube, uploaded. Finally, okay, now this is what I want to see. I want to see what Miss Reva had to say about it, Queen's mother. To explain her side of the story and the situation. He also responded to her video, so just keep in mind we are going back and oh, forth did? between two videos. Oh, no. He just came forth and said some Drama. things that he shouldn't have said because they were not true. Now, mind you, Carlos is her cousin, her first cousin, which makes him Queen's second cousin. True. First of all, Carlos is my first cousin. I have to explain that because uh. it was not explained well. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm just kind of throwing it out there. And I did not say anything about it because Queen did not address it first. But since Queen had already addressed it, I'm going to address it further. Because she sounds mad. <laughs> she sounds a little bit pissed off right now. I think she got tired of the bullshit that her cousin that she hasn't seen in so fucking long talking shit about her daughter. That would that would definitely get me in a certain uh, get me in a certain way. Cause I feel like that's my cousin. Carlos is my first cousin. Man, no cap. People want to say I'm cloud chasing this and that, but I'm not. I'm reaching out to my family. I'm reaching out to my blood. You want to say first cousin, queen, my second cousin? It doesn't matter. We is blood. We family. This is the thing. You are not immediate family. Reva's always going to put Queen and her children. Of course. First. It's expected. Of course. <laughs> and 
you have family members that do horrible things just because of their blood, it don't mean shit. Now, don't mean shit. According to him, we've blocked him. Reva, you know what I'm saying? I got no beef with you, Reva. I love you to death. Yes, I have reached out to you. I can't tell you what year it was at all. I had some things going on in my life. Yes. World, now, Reva feels that he didn't reach out to her because there was a little bit of drama going on, apparently. Like, my mother takes care of your father. I guess she asked you about the monies or whatever. And according to him, he said that they won't let him see his dad unless he's willing to pay money. Well, my aunt Queen says, if I want to see my father, then I need to help out and triple to money. I don't got the help. I don't help. That's my father. At the end of the day, that's, that's my heart. That's my love. That's my man. None of y'all was there. When he got sick, then y'all wanted to help. And you got kind of loud with my mother and disrespectful, and I heard you on the phone, so I got on the phone. Then you disrespected me. <laughs> so wait. <laughs> so, so wait, did this altercation happen recently to the point where he went all out with this whole queen story? Or did, did this happen a long time ago? Is that what made you guys fall off? I'm a little bit confused. Comment below and explain to me because maybe I might be the only one lost. <laughs> I believe that's just why you didn't reach out because you knew the last time we talked, well, I disrespected her. You know what I'm saying? But ain't nothing wrong with apologizing to somebody and reaching out because I ain't got the type of heart that when you come at me, I'm a forgiving person. Reva goes into detail how she feels that he could have at least reached out to her. Carlos, because I feel like, Carlos, if you had something to say, you didn't have to lie. I felt like you could have reached out to me like you used to do. You know, I, I got an inbox from you. I can show it. From 2014, when you inboxed me out of nowhere and was like, hey, cuz, I'm going through some stuff. I need you to talk to me because you're the only one who keep it 100 and I and I had some advice to give you back and it was about God she was going through some struggles at the time I was very angry with you because I felt like out of out of my mother's seven siblings out of of all those family members why you come for my my kid mm. my opinion on it is because I feel mm. now that's deep first of all that's deep but my question is why why does everyone in the family have to wait for Carlos to reach out to them why isn't anyone in the family reaching out to him to see if he's okay? He might have he might have burned some bridges, but at the same time, if he's hurting and if you haven't heard from him in years, don't you wonder if he's okay? Don't you wonder if he's still alive or he's still breathing or existing? I'm not I'm not in that family. I don't know the story, but there's there's got to be more to this. He sees Queen's success, and he's in a situation that he doesn't want to be in. He thinks he needs he's money. entitled when he's not. And I feel that's why he's trying to get some attention off it. By me having a heart that I have, I understand that you have some issues. You know, you have some issues, and you admitted it. You know, you said, I got, I got some issues going on, but I just feel like that's not your way to make it to the top. You could have reached out to me like you've been reaching out to me. Whatever you was going through, just like you was going through before, Queen was 10 years old and you came and stayed in my house. I reached out to you. I reached out to you out of all them cousins, okay? And you got and you got some brothers and sisters. You okay. Know, I, one sister reached out to you, but I reached out to you. Okay. Out of all them cousins, it was me, you mm. know? And I just felt like... Okay, well, I'm glad that I got to hear that. Apparently, it was her and just one other person that reached out to him. So I can see where he's coming from, why he feels so hurt, so bitter, so alone. It makes sense. Like, if you have a big family and only two people have reached out, it's, like, pretty sad. Same time, how are you going to hurt the one that did reach out to you? Out of all the people, you're going to hurt the person that tried to help you. How does that work out? Why would you try to sabotage my daughter regardless of what we go through? I would never mm. sabotage my daughter. And I know you got a little girl, which is my little second cousin too. I mean, I just wonder how you would feel if I came at your little girl. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter how old your kids get. Them is always your kid. I'm curious if he even cares. Like, he smokes around her. But anyway, <laughs> she laid eyes on Queen when Queen was 10. 10 and 12 was little. You know what I'm saying? I think you stayed in my house. I don't know if it was a month or two to keep it real. And then after that, I don't know. You had moved over with your sister and then you you didn't get along. It then address the situation how he said that he wasn't accepted because he was dark skinned. And nobody ever just <laughs> came stupid. at you because you was because I'm dark. Dark skin boy, how dark are you? In the videos that I've seen and the pictures that I've seen, you are not dark. You are pretty light skinned, so no. Yeah, now go on, with, go on with that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't never came in nobody's color. I ain't never been the color struck person because baby. 
everybody know it happened to me. You know what I'm saying? That's why I got along with my three kids because I'm not gonna have nobody making differences of Queen and Tina. Everybody know I love dark meat. It's beautiful, baby. <laughs> Shit, okay. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't have it no other way. Okay. Right? It's beautiful. And I don't care if black is an ace of spades, black with a purple cast. All different shades is okay. <laughs> black with a green cast, it don't matter. Dark brown, black is beautiful, baby. Mm -hmm. And I will say that. Give me a black man any day. Dark <laughs> Okay, okay, girl. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed Ooh, day. We don't be this tight now, guys. We can set her up on some blind dates. <laughs> that we would show. <laughs> She'd be like dating guy. You gotta smoke, Martin. There's no way in hell that you are, you are like. Look at you. You're shining right now. You're like glowing in the face. Your eyes. Your big old smile. You gotta be smoking weed. And all that, I'll be funny. Give me a black man any day. God bless. See you later. I've been locked up, hell. You playing a whole lot of games. Don't say you could have reached out to Queen because she's busy. You know, not the fact that she thinks she all of that, but she's busy all the time and she just go, go, go. I can't even have talk to her because she's busy. Busy tickling clearances, Bob. So I just felt like me as her mother, you could have reached out to me. You right there on Facebook, you could have came for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause I'm having these issues. I need this or I need I need somebody to talk to. I'd have been right there because it looked like you going through some stuff. I don't know through what it. you're going He's through. Going you through can't it. blame us cousins for that. You can't. You can't blame us for what our parents may have done or whatever their decisions may have been. You know what I'm saying? You can't blame the cousins for that. And that's something that I'm trying to learn from myself too. It's not about, because I've heard this a lot in my life, it's not about playing victim. It's the fact that hurt and damage has been done. Trauma has been done. So the emotions are there and the emotions are real. And I feel like the people that, that tell you that you're playing victim, those are the people that are hurting you, are hurting you and want to take the blame off of them and put the blame on you. And that's where the problem occurs. At the same time though, as people, we have to learn to let shit go. Anything that's happened to you, learn from it. Become a better person for it. Because if you're still here today, you're stronger for it. So I'm still trying to learn that. And they say to forgive, it's not about for, and that's not necessarily forgiveness because I, I believe I forgive. It's just about being unable to forget. And quite honestly, you don't really have to have those people in your life. Forgiveness does not mean you have to keep them around. Because we was kids too. And everybody feel like they're the black sheep in this family. You know what I'm saying? Everybody want to be the black sheep. You know, I can say all that. I'm the black sheep. You the black sheep. Okay, we all black sheep. But all black sheep, we can't get together and blame each other. So whatever your father did and your mother and father been through, I feel like you need to get some counseling and take that up with them. Don't yes. take it out on my daughter. You know, yes. She ain't got nothing to do with it. You know what I'm saying? And that's the way I felt. So that's when the problem occurs. When hurt people hurt people. So... With that being said, I'm gonna let that go. Now, wait for the ending. Reva goes in, man. What's this? Oh, let's you, see. You, you want a platform or something? I don't know what you're after, but I just feel like you know where I'm at, Carlos. Get at me. Get at me. You know what I'm saying? I have no problem with it. I ain't got no problem talking to you, consulting with you. We can even meet up and talk, because I don't know. They're saying you in a hotel. I don't know what's up. All I know is, don't don't come back to my daughter, but at the same time, you see a, a, a lost long family member out there that's going through like what you're going through. All I know is, don't don't come back to my daughter, but at the same time, you see a, a, a lost long family member out there that's going through like what you're going through. Let somebody know. I was Reva. I would not talk to this dude, okay? Yeah. He's singing on. Yeah, he did a little too much. I think it's just time to cut him off, let him go. Weapon, he just seems really emotionally unstable. If you're gonna see him... Yeah, you do not want someone like that around you or your family. Man, like, bring someone with you, okay? The last thing I want is to see Reva on the news, she got hurt or something like that, or worse, died, okay? <laughs> It's none of my business, man, but I'm just saying, like, bring someone with you. It's none of my business, but I'm talking about it. Anyway, Reva ends up giving him some good advice. Check this out. You know what I'm saying? And put down that weapon. That was stupid, because you can mess around and get yourself in trouble with that one. You can get charged off the strip for the, waving that gun and, and threatening life. Anyway, in his video, he what? was saying that Queen Naja had played Reva multiple times. What is y'all doing when your own daughter played you from multiple Notice how this man uses the, I don't know how to pronounce that, QQ philosophy, fallacy again, whatever. Instead of addressing Reva's points, he just criticizes her with more lies. 
multiple times. And I ain't trying to downgrade you at all. But when she downgraded you multiple times, then look out for you. I understand that your daughter is still in you was in her corner. Nothing but respect for that. But at the same time, what you get? You got a daughter that's on TV. You got a daughter that's on billboards. That, that don't mean shit. I mean, family at the end of the day is family. You be there for the ones who's been there for you. The ones that... Okay, so previously we do know that Chris Sells allegedly hold all the money from the main YouTube channel when Chris and Queen were together. And during that time, it was obvious from the sounds of it, Queen could not support her mother like she is doing now. She was helping out her mother. But see, he's up with the old news from the sounds of it ages ago when she didn't support her. Or maybe the room is that she's not supporting her and turned off the electricity bill, the electricity or the power to the house. Remember that stupid rumor that was flying around? We spoke about it before. If you haven't watched it, I don't know, go watch my old videos. I ain't gonna recap old, old stuff that I already spoke about. To know more about that and those rumors, the link will be in the description below. And then Carlos gave a backhanded apology. Just be real, I'm sorry if you feel any type of way. I apologize to my family, but at the same time, none of y'all apologize to me. I stand here being a man and say, I apologize if you felt like I called you out your man or I disrespect you on any type of level because at the end of the day, I love you. Demonstrate facts. I'm here, I'm in the hood. This man is hurt. This man is hurt. You can hear it in his voice. You can see in the way he's moving, the way he's talking. He, this guy is hurt. Yeah, I'm posted a binder. And this is his way of getting his family's attention. His apology was so backhanded. I'm sorry if I made you feel this way. No empathy at all or taking any responsibility for his actions at all. Just a complete prick, really. I ain't even name it. You real sh I come from a bloodline who's about one thing, money. Ain't nothing about being there for one another. He's upset of where he is at life and he's putting it on others if he thinks mm -hmm. this is a way to get somewhat of mm -hmm. attention. Who knows, maybe he's hoping someone will give him money to shut up. But I think it's just completely wicked and completely wrong. The way he's acting, very malicious, very fake, stringing you guys along to get more attention. It's what he wants. But anyway, guys, what do you think about this whole situation? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Smash that like button. Well, y'all already know how I feel and what I think about it. I've said it multiple times, he was full of shit. And if y'all believed him, y'all gotta check them screws. All right, you guys, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.